Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 53. So today I wanted to differentiate a little bit on consumer and contacts and the difference between a lead that comes in off of a landing page and a registration of a contact that registers at your agent site or on your consumer site. So yesterday I was showing you the guide builder and we were having some issues with the guide actually showing up. What I realized was I wasn't actually on the right KW site. So in order for us to see the guide builder that we actually built out yesterday, we need to have a, an account. Basically, I need to make an account at my actual consumer site in order to visit there. And so in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. <clears throat> we're going to use a fictional character. So uh, let's see, who should we use today? Let's use uh, Pete Maverick. Watch this one last night. Great movie. And um, hmm, and we'll just make a password here real quick. All right, so this is what it's going to look like if a consumer goes to your consumer site. So I'm on martymiller2.kd.com. If you remember a while back, that's the consumer site that we created. And I'm going to go ahead and sign up for an account on my agent or my consumer site. So, oops, looks like we can't use old Mara. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I have now created an account at martymiller2.kw.com and as such I can now see the guide and so if I click on the guide if you'll remember in the selling process we actually had a staging step that was added and here is that staging step so we can now see what that actual step looks like I also wanted to show you inside of command what happens <clears throat> excuse me when you get a registration on your actual agent site so it's going to be the same thing that will happen when you get a registration on your consumer app, which we're going to tackle here in a few videos. Uh, so first things first, inside of command, I'm going to get a notification on my notification bell that shows me I have a new agent site registration received and then the contact's name. And if I click on that, it's actually going to bring up the contact and I can see right that here's the information for the contact and the actual email address now you can see here's the difference when i registered on a landing page i was asked for my phone number when i register on the consumer app or site i'm only asked for my email and not my phone number so in order to get these people's phone number you're going to have to email them um, or you know find them on social media dm them something along those lines as well so just kind of a, a um, one difference between somebody registering on a landing page versus registering at your consumer site or consumer app. The second change is I'm still a new lead. If you remember yesterday, we had, let's find them, Ethan Hunt registered on our landing page. So that was a new lead. That's why we have the L here for a new lead. However, they're not branded to us unless they actually register on our agent site or our consumer app. Why is it important to know the difference between someone who is branded to us via our site or app and someone who's not? Well, that's going to go into tomorrow's video when we talk about collections. It also references yesterday's video. None of these individuals right now can see the guide that we worked on yesterday. The only one that can see it is old Maverick because he's the only one that's actually registered on our consumer site. Everyone else that comes to martymiller2.kw.com, they're not going to be able to see it. It's going to look like this. <coughs> they won't actually see the ability to have guides. So how do you know who's registered either via your consumer app or via your consumer site? And that is coming into your contacts and looking for people with this check mark. There is also a filter called branded to me. And it's down here on the bottom left. If we click on yes, you're going to see all the contacts in your world that have either registered on your consumer app or at your consumer site. So really important for tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about building collections of properties that you can put together and show to your clients virtually 
However, they're not going to be able to see that group of collection, that collection of properties if they haven't actually registered either on your consumer site or using your consumer app. So that's it for today. Basically, the difference between simply a lead and a lead that has registered at your consumer site. Sorry, we were looking to clear those filters. The difference between a regular lead and a lead who is actually registered on your consumer site or consumer app. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to do more, one more final video on consumer where we talk about building collections for your clients to view online once they've registered with you. As always, great talking to you. Look forward to talking to you again real soon.